And whenever I see a mark up high like this, I'm going to reel up to it. And look at that. Look at that. Here he comes. Here he comes. That's a fish. That's a fish. He's on. Got him. Well, good morning. We're uh, set up on Lake Superior this morning. We're going to be trying to kind of target multi-species. We decided to set up in about 70 feet of water. And we've got baits kind of spread out from about 20 feet down all the way to the bottom. Um, I've got some cut herring on the bottom on a flag board, and then I've got a jaw jacker set at about 20 feet down. And then I'm going to be jigging for lake trout and possibly uh, whitefish. We'll see what we mark, but... Um, Stay tuned. Is a nice fish so I've got two splake so far already one uh, about 20 feet down um, on a jaw jacker and then I caught the other one jigging and I caught up one burbot too on the bottom on a piece of cut herring and then this fish was probably 30 feet off the bottom and he just smoked it so Kind of fish all over the water column today. I'm not sure what this is, but it's a nice fish. I'm guessing it's a big brown by the way it's fighting. I can actually see him on the flasher. He's, he's getting closer now. He's probably about 20 feet down. One of these days I gotta get a little bigger shack. It's a little tight in here. Oh, big laker. Nice. Not a monster, but nice fish. Lake trout don't usually make those screaming runs at the hole like a brown will, so I think we might get him up here a little easier. Okay, oh, hold on. Hold on. No. Gotta do the scoop here. Nice laker. Just hit that tungsten uh, key flasher. Hit him right in the snout there. This bait has been unbelievable this season. I've caught so many fish on it. It's made by Euro Tackle. Um, it's just it's a tungsten spoon, and it gets down there uh, and holds its holds its own in the current. So, and they got they got a lot of nice flash too been a really good bait so far so I think that one is gonna go home for the smoker and uh, we're gonna keep that one today nice fish that was fun we got a big head shaker big head shaker ah massive smelt Ooh, that's a beaut that's gonna go on the flag board all right, I'm going to show you my uh, easy rig for the flag board here fishing in deeper water. So I got 
uh, one and a quarter ounce egg sinker here sliding on the braid. Um, and then I've got a swivel and about a foot of 20 pound mono uh, leader here. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a smelt. I've got a, just a treble here. I'm just gonna hook that smelt right through the back, just like that. And I'm gonna drop that egg sinker right to the bottom and that smelt's just gonna struggle swimming around in the mud and uh, burbot will pick it up, lake trout will pick it up and uh, it's just a super effective rig for fishing deeper water to get that bait down and hold it in place. So I'm gonna go set that up and see what happens. Weldon said he won't help me anymore. <laughs> That's not very nice. All right, so I'm just gonna show you how I work a lake trout jig out here in Lake Superior in um, basically 100 feet of water or less where we've been catching these lake trout. Um, so this is a, just a, like a three inch Kitek 3.5 um, and an ounce and a half jig. I didn't put a stinger on this one. That's a little shorter profile. I think they can hit that just fine and get hooked. So we're gonna go ahead and drop this down. And uh, you can watch it on the flasher here. I'm just free spooling. I got a hot rod, 45 inch medium heavy with the bait caster and I'm just free spooling that bait down so you can see it going down there. I'm just gonna free spool it all the way down to the bottom here. All right, so I'm gonna stop it right here, just above the bottom, and just rip it a few times, see if anything moves up on it. I see a little flicker down there. I think it's just smelt on the bottom. If I don't see anything right away, I'll drop it right to the bottom, and I'll pound the bottom a little bit, just kick up some mud, and then I'll bring it back up, see if anything follows it. Then I'm just gonna rip it here for a minute, see if anything moves up. You're always looking for fish to move up towards your bait. Nothing there, then I'm gonna move up about 10 feet off the bottom, rip it there for a little bit, then I'll send it back down. All the way to the bottom again, pound it, then move it up again, see if anything follows it up. So if I don't see anything doing that for a while, I'll repeat that process four or five, six times. Then I'm actually gonna reel it slowly up to about three quarters of the way to the bottom. And that's the same whether you're in 60 feet or in 80 feet. And I'm gonna rip it there for a little bit. Then I'm just gonna move it up about 10 feet, rip it, another 10 feet, rip it all the way up to pretty much about 20 feet under the ice. And they'll see that bait moving up and lake trout will come all the way from the bottom, believe it or not, and hit a bait 60 feet above them. I've seen them do it. You'll just see all of a sudden a vapor trail will just start coming up and all of a sudden they'll catch up to your bait. And when you see a fish following your bait, you wanna reel away from it so, um, so it has to catch it. If, they, if you just jig it in their face, it, it just doesn't work. They can take too good a look at the bait and they can tell it's not fake or it's not real. So make sure you uh, make sure you always make them chase it. 
Um, those paddle tail swim baits work really well because when you reel them away from the fish or on the drop, that paddle tail kicks as you could see when I dropped it down. So anyway, that's a great bait. Um, some days the tubes are better. Some days like little fluke style baits are better, but um, that's pretty much the technique I use no matter what bait I'm, I'm using. So uh, I see something up here. And whenever I see a mark up high like this, I'm going to reel up to it. And look at that, look at that, here he comes, here he comes, that's a fish, that's a fish. He's on, got him, oh my goodness, oh yeah, that was sick, oh, sick, <laughs> see what I mean, that's what I'm talking about. Here he comes, a little laker, just like that, you see that mark up there? And you just always reel up to it because it could be a fish. And sure enough, there he is, just like that. Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> There's just nothing like it. I mean, lake trout jigging in Lake Superior, I just can't get enough of it. I almost don't want the ice to ever go away because it's so much fun. And uh, I mean, you can catch fish this size all the way up to, you know, 20, 30 pounds uh, doing this. So. <laughs> you just can't beat it. I mean, look at that. You just crushed it. Oh, I love it. Fish on. Yeah, I'll have to tell Eric that that thing works for burbot too. It's a little hot spot for these things, that's for sure. Oh, a little smaller. I'll take it. One-eyed creature there. This is Weldon's unconventional but effective burbot lure right here. It's a, I don't even know what you'd call it, but it's a burbot slayer. Weldon's hooked up. About time. I gotta show you my unorthodox way of hooking, jigging, rigging this thing up. Burbot. Oh, freaking. Oh, perfect. Oh, that's a big one. You got a well then. Another burb. Yep. Oh, yeah. Well, steady. if I can't get a linker, I'll take these. That's not. Gave it like six feet of lines so it could take it for it to take off, you know what I mean? Oh, another bird. Nice bird, too. That's a dandy. Oh, oh, oh. oh, look at that. Nice. He's got the one ball bearing just to scream it. Scream it. Got a bunch of snout in there, too, if anybody wants any. Okay. Think you got? Burbit. Mr. Burb. First one. Nice. Is that your first one ever? Yep. Awesome. First burbit, first flake trout, first flake today. Oh, uh, not no. a bad day, huh? No. Awesome. Sweet. Good job. Well, we're getting ready to wrap her up for today. Uh, we caught multiple species today on Lake Superior. We caught splake, we caught lake trout, we caught browns, we caught burbot, we caught cohos, um, kind of all over the water column. We caught them on jaw jackers, on flag boards, we caught fish jigging. So it was just an all around really good, solid uh, day today out here. And this is just one of my favorite places to fish. The fishery is so diverse here. There's so many different species you can catch and uh, we just proved that today so um, until next time you guys have an awesome awesome day keep fishing and get hooked up well i always say that uh 
a good fishing trip has to have something go wrong. So I'm on my way home right now and uh, I'm pulled over because I went to open this thermos of homemade chicken soup and it exploded. I mean, it exploded and foamed out of the top. I mean, it exploded everywhere. It's like all over, all over. Like it splattered up onto the seat next to me and everything. I mean, and it smells so bad. I have no idea what happens to homemade chicken soup in a day of being in a thermos, but it's not the same as canned soup. I'll tell you that right now. Coffee break. <laughs> 